In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how an engagement session plays out from a perspective of being on top of my camera, how I like to pose my couples in natural light situations and using kind of an unposed style. If you're a couple and you found me through some kind of organic search, that's great. Love to connect with you and talk about your wedding date. Details on how to reach me are below in the description of this video. Let's just get into it. Let's just do the thing. So here in Hamilton, I've never uh, been to this park. It's like a boat launch. The couple's really sweet. We're doing a canoe type engagement session where we half aquatic and half somewhere in this park. Yeah, let's go. So as I mentioned, it was my first time at this park. I got here a bit early to take a walk around, just see what the light looked like, see what the paths looked like. And yeah, it was a fantastic location that my couple suggested. I always ask my couples to pick a location if they have something in mind that maybe is meaningful to their relationship. And we'll come back to that in a second when we get to the canoe portion of this session. But for posing, I always have my couples start out really simply just by holding hands, looking at the camera, looking at each other, smiling, being really happy. And those suggestions may seem simple, but they work really well, not only just to get some great photos, but to also prime my couple and warm them up to the idea of having their photo taken. So we start really simply and we build from that. This couple had a great idea to go to this lookout point, which you don't see here because I had the, the other camera pointed at them. But these are the images from that lookout point. We had some really great light that day. And I typically like to schedule my shoots for my couples in the evening. I find that after work, everyone's kind of relaxed. Everyone's looking forward to or they've already had dinner. The day is done. We can go out with some really good energy and create some really great images out in nature. I'm always looking for shadow and shade. I find those give you the best exposure. Skin tones look really even in the shade. You don't get a lot of squinting into the light, so I'll frame my couples up. Typically, I like to use symmetry in my settings, so I'll find some, some nice leading lines or some, some natural frames in the world and pose my couples in there using the same kind of techniques, building slowly, just having them interact with each other and create some great authentic images from that. You won't see a lot of it in this behind the scenes uh, section, but we went down by the water and captured some really great photos by this old tree. Uh, again, a fantastic location picked by the couple. I'm super happy with the way these turned out and it looks like a different scene, even though it's the same park. So the couple, again, chose to incorporate a canoe into their session, which I think is fantastic. It means something to them, which I think is really important for the engagement session. This couple has canoed before in their past. It wasn't their first time in a boat. Um, it's part of their relationship. They've done canoe trips. They're kind of an adventurous couple, so it was kind of a no-brainer to incorporate the canoe as a part of their engagement session because it's part of the relationship. It's part of who they are as human beings. And I thought, yeah, let's definitely do it. Why not? Yeah, I'm just in love with these photos. I think they worked out really well. We didn't really have a plan for going out. I just kind of sent them out in the canoe and said, paddle around for a little while. I'll just kind of get whatever happens. So I brought a longer lens, 70 to 200, 2.8, uh, which is typically what I use for ceremony photos, just so I can stay out of the way while also getting some good close shots, but it didn't really work with the rest of the gallery of images. So I just didn't deliver any of those photos and I quickly realized that I wouldn't be delivering those, so I switched back to my portrait lens here. Like I mentioned before, we didn't really have a plan for going out of the canoe other than just paddling around, so I knew at this point I had to take some, some control of the situation. I had them come a bit closer to shore where I could get closer shots of the two of them. These are the images that I saw in my head that I knew I wanted to create, and so I just kind of directed them to where I wanted them to be and had them interact within that scene. They were adventurous enough to want to stand up in the canoe, which is not something I would have done um, <laughs> because I would have for sure fallen in, but they definitely knew what they were doing. They had their sea legs, they had each other for support. And those are some of my favorite images of the two of them just kind of standing out in the canoe. So after we got back to shore, Diana's dress was pretty muddy towards the bottom. Um, she informed me that she bought the dress just for this session. So knowing that and knowing that she was okay with it being muddy, I had them stand on the shore, one foot in the canoe, one foot out, because we were no longer afraid of mud or getting things dirty, and I think it just puts a nice bow on the on the portion of the session where they're canoeing. I also shot a couple detail shots of the ring on her hand, even though her hand's a bit muddy. Uh, we do it again <laughs> when her hand's a bit clean a few minutes later, but I just thought it'd be an interesting frame. Oh, and then some, yeah, some shots of them on the dock, because it's, it's a great dock. Why not? It's a good dock. 
so by this point, the couple's super comfortable with each other, super comfortable with the idea of having the photo taken, which is fantastic. This is usually when I get the best photos from my session from my couples. There's this amazing tree you'll see in the background of this shot. I wanted to get the couple sitting underneath. When it comes to framing, I always look for variety and efficiency. So I sat them on this log, I had them interacting, and I slowly moved around them 180 degrees to get different frames and different reactions, and it worked out really well. And here are some of the final images from this session using that same massive willow tree and the great light that we had this time of day. Again, I just spun around 180 degrees and got the couple from a different angle, and it, yeah, just caps off the gallery really well. So, very happy with this. Have a good night, guys. That's engagement session. Went pretty well. They got in a canoe. They, uh, is this thing recording? It is recording. And then I took the opportunity to take some more photos at the end because the light was kind of perfect. Those muddy spots in the dress, I'll probably Photoshop out. As you can see here, I did Photoshop the mud out of the dress. I just think it looks better without mud. Who doesn't? Thank you so much for watching this behind the scenes video of an engagement session. I love filming these, so I'll keep doing more. Subscribe if you want to see some more behind the scenes of how I take photos and video. All the info you need to contact me to book me for your date or your engagement session is below in the description of this video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.